Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. You know, as guitar players, we love big amplifiers. They sound fantastic. Full stacks, big combo amps. I mean, they just have power, they have tone that's just wonderful. The problem is they're also very heavy. And I've hauled my share of stacks around. I've carried my share of heavy combo amps. And I've been looking for a great grab it and go solution. By that, I mean a lightweight, compact amplifier that can cover low volume gigs, rehearsals, those sorts of things where you just want to walk in, walk out one trip from the car. Gig bag on your back with guitar, small pedal board, lightweight amplifier, and you're good to go. So today we're going to look at six amplifiers that meet one major criteria. They all weigh 25 pounds or less. Lightweight amplifiers that still produce a lot of tone. Let's check out our six candidates. By the way, be sure to stick around because we're going to be putting these amplifiers to a real world test later in this video. First up, we have the Marshall MG30 GFX. This is a 30 watt solid state amplifier with a single 10 inch speaker, but it has four channels, four programmable channels actually. And these range from sparkling clean to heavy overdrive. We have onboard effects with tap tempo, a speaker emulated output. We've even got a built in tuner on board. And best of all, this amplifier comes in at just 24 pounds. From Orange, we have the Crush 35RT. This is a 35 watt solid state amplifier with a single 12 inch speaker. Orange's custom Voice of the World speaker is in that amplifier. We have two channels, so you can easily set up a sparkling clean tone as well as an overdrive tone. We've got built in reverb, an effects loop, and a built in tuner. The amplifier has a headphone output with cab sim for private monitoring, and it comes in right at 25 pounds. The Aviator Cup from Quilter is a 50 watt solid state amplifier with a single channel, but that channel has three available voicings, tweed, blonde, and black that give you those American tones that range from the 50s through the 60s. We have a 1x12 speaker that was special designed for Quilter by Eminence, and we've got onboard reverb, an effects loop, and a line output. It's the lightest amplifier in our roundup at 21.5 pounds. Fender's Tone Master Deluxe Reverb is designed to exactly replicate the tone of a tube-driven Fender Deluxe Reverb amplifier, one of the most popular amplifiers of all time. It's a 100 watt amplifier with two channels, built in vibrato and reverb on the second channel. We've got a 1x12 design here with a Jensen N12K speaker. And additional features include a mute switch, a five way attenuator switch for dropping the power down for much quieter operation, and we've also got a cabinet emulated output. It comes in at about half the weight of the tube version at 23 pounds. The first tube amplifier in our roundup is the St. James from Blackstar. It's a 50 watt amplifier that uses 6L6 power tubes. The St. James is loaded with a Celestian G12Z70 Zephyr speaker. That's a 1x12 speaker. We've got two channels, onboard reverb, an effects loop, and a built in cab rig output. We've got a built in USB port with cabinet emulation that you can use for direct recording into your DAW. And we also have a power reduction or attenuator feature. It weighs just 24 pounds. Last but absolutely not least, we have the Mark 525 from Mesa Boogie. The Mark 525 is a 25 watt amplifier. You can switch it down to 10 watts as well. And it features a Celestian 10 inch speaker, a G10 cream back. We've got two channels, a built-in graphic equalizer, as well as an all-tube driven spring reverb, and you can set the level of the reverb on each channel independently. There's an effects loop, a headphone output, as well as Boogie's cab clone feature that allows you to send a signal directly into your PA system or directly into a recorder with cabinet emulation. The Mark 525 comes in at just 24 pounds. So that's our six amplifiers. Now a big question that comes up, besides the weight of the amplifiers of course, is can they really keep up with a band? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up with a drum set and a bass player and we're going to play these amplifiers live in this studio and see if they can keep up.
So there you have it, a look at how all six of these amplifiers perform in a more real world type of situation. We tried to line them up and be as accurate as we could, this wasn't a scientific test of course, but we ran them all right at the verge of breaking up. And that let us sort of get a feel for the clean headroom and the amount of volume that they could push out before they went into compression, before they started distorting. And they all did well. They kept up with Nick DeVirgilio on drums and Jacob Dupre on bass. They all came in surprisingly at about the same dB level, the same SPL level, somewhere between 84 dB and 85 dB for the peaks. Now some of them I felt like they were a little punchier, I felt like the leads jumped out, had a little bit more dynamics, which to me indicates a little bit more headroom available than some of the others. But again, they all kept up just fine and I'd have no problem taking any one of these amplifiers to a rehearsal, to a low volume gig, they'd perform perfectly well. If you have any questions about these amplifiers or any other lightweight amplifiers that are going to make a great grab it and go solution for you, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer or visit Sweetwater.com. Thanks for joining me today, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.